though they may not be able to physically see anymore out of their windows, we, we try our best to become their eyes. And we're looking out for all the traffic that's around them. If we see any primary targets or any, if we see anything out there, we're gonna call the traffic and let them know and, and do our best to keep them to safe and direct them direct to the closest airport. And we'll also use those airplanes that are close in proximity to, to determine what the weather is doing. So they may have come from a higher altitude or they may have come from a lower altitude. So we'll say, hey, we just spoke with, say, cactus such and such. There's clean, you know, smooth air, it's clear at 2,500 feet, you know, suggest you descend to 2,500 feet. There are several people at our facility and at a lot of facilities that have flying experience who are rated pilots and who you know fly every day. Then I would get their services. You know, I would say, hey, I have this person who is stuck in this situation and I, I need your assistance. The pilot will go from the attention of just one controller to the attention of the entire building. Um, once a, once a pilot declares an emergency, that controller is going to do everything they can to help the pilot. But depending on the situation, that controller may not have all the information or the knowledge to assist that pilot. Therefore, the supervisors get involved, the, the uh, ops managers get involved, other controllers in other areas get involved. Everybody starts communicating to figure out how we can help that one pilot. You know, and if, even if it's, if it's an emergency situation and we have, you know, 20 commercial aircraft, yes, we're going to deal with those commercial aircraft, but our priority is whoever declared that emergency. It's often difficult to humble yourself and say, look, I made a mistake. And unfortunately, if you don't do that in this particular situation, you're putting your life on the line. And I don't think, you know, necessarily I can't speak for every controller out there and say that, hey, you're not going to get in trouble. But I would say that the controller's focus on that moment isn't necessarily on the filing paperwork. It's getting you on the ground safely. We are not a police agency. We are there to serve the user. The user's lost if he's found himself in IFR conditions. Embarrassment doesn't matter. Getting in trouble doesn't matter. If we can get you on the ground, we can figure out everything else later. We want to teach you how to do it right, not punish you when you do it wrong. When you make a mistake and try to hide it is when people get in trouble.